Hey y'all, welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works. Uh, in today's video, we are going to do a little WJ update video. Stay tuned. Alright, so um, I feel bad for you guys. I really have left you hanging on the, uh, the WJ videos. Uh, I think the last video we did was doing the core 4x4 adjustable front track bar and putting in we put some uh, overland springs the overland edition up country suspension front springs on here um, and honestly since then it's, it's been doing great I've been driving it uh, just doing regular maintenance and stuff on it um, let's see the uh, big thing that I have noticed which we're gonna remedy we're gonna take a look at is uh, the the caster on that front axle, since it's been lifted, it's really uh, turned that axle. Um, and we need to put some of these control arms on that to um, remedy that. Well, might as well just grab them now. So what I've got here are some uh, Iron Rock off-road adjustable short arms. Um, pick these up. On actually via Facebook the guys over at Iron Rock were running a deal for some scratch and dent stuff at like 20% off um, honestly I they're gonna be in way worse condition than what they were by the time I get done kicking them around underneath the the rig putting them on so uh, I got a set of these uh, pretty inexpensive like I'm only running like three and a half inches of lift and for what I'm doing short arms are gonna be perfectly fine to get that um, back where it needs to be. Um, I also have um, for the front some adjustable upper control arms. I don't know if you guys can see them up there in my rafters, but I've got some uh, Rusty's off-road adjustable short arms for the front. Actually, those are used. I picked those up off of Facebook. I kind of put a feeler out there on some of the local Jeep Facebook pages, they are actually, the, the WJs, the XJs, the TJs, and the ZJs, if you're going, I think, OE or aftermarket, short arms, adjustable, they're all the same. So, I mean, it was way easier for me to find a set of used um, XJ adjustable arms, and the bushings have been replaced in those, they're good, I just cleaned the, the arm up, hit them with some paint, and um, yeah, they'll be good to go. Uh, the track bar is already on there, so the front end will be sorted after that. Now for the back, um, I've got some more, boom, Overland um, Upcountry. And in case you guys don't know, on some of the, the Overland Edition WJs, like it'll have a badge on it, it's like a limited, but it says Overland. It came with a different, slightly different suspension, um, came with uh, different coil springs that gave it about an inch of lift and they ride way better so we're gonna throw these on there with my rear uh, spacers and it should be should be pretty good um, and then I'm also gonna put um, this iron rock again used picked it up off Facebook um, upper a arm spacer this goes on top of the axle and it just gives that uh, that triangulated um, control arm thing it, you, you WJ, WJ guys know what I'm talking about. Um, gives you better angle, so it's not drooped quite so far down with the lift. It kind of corrects that a little bit. Um, it's just a two inch chunk of aluminum, or might be two and a half inch, um, with some longer bolts. Bolt that, bolt that in there. I've already got uh, the fifth, Bil Bilstein 5100s on there. I've had those for a while. Those have been doing fine. Those are for like two to three inch of lift, um, so those will still be okay. But what I'm really the most excited about is, well, one of them's right down here. So let's, I'm going to grab the camera and we'll look. So this is a front axle. Um, it's a Dana 30. This is out of a, uh, well, the quadra drive, the all wheel drive WJs. And what kind of makes these things special is it has uh, 373 gears already. And it has, it, essentially it's, it's a limited slip. Um, from the factory. So rather than the the Dana 30 that's in the front of this that is 355 gears, well 355 gears in the back as well, but um, and open open uh, 
open diff. So and I have uh, my rear Dana 44A to go in. It's the A is for the aluminum uh, cast housing it has. I've ground that down, cleaned it all up, you know, hit it with some some rust-oleum. Um, the axle shafts are out of it right now uh, because I had to pull the uh, brake assemblies off of it. The backing plates were all bent up from being at the wreckers, uh, but the uh, brakes that are on my WJ right now, the emergency brake backing plates and all the the other brakes are actually they're exactly the same uh, so they'll bolt right on there I've got uh, the only thing I have left to do I need to get some new wheel studs the one axle wheel studs were kind of uh, mangled up so I gotta get some new ones of that this has the uh, Dana 35 open in the rear which that's gonna go away so speaking of brakes if you guys didn't know um, the WJ's came with two different versions of brakes they came with an early version and a later ver version uh, I believe the early version is the Tevez, T T Tevez, and the later version are the Akibono brakes. And the later ones are much better. They're held on by bolts instead of uh, like this wire retaining clip. And this, I already had put newer brakes on this not too long ago, so I'm just going to swap all the brakes over. Um, uh, would have been better to time it all. It would have been better if I could have timed it all together and I could have just bought the new upgraded brakes because it's calipers and brackets it's not just rotors and pads but um, all the newer brakes that I have will swap over to these axles I'm really excited to get those axles um, and I've been filming um, working on these axles so that'll be a separate video and putting them in uh, you'll notice the big issue on these is the uh, the spring perches rust away and um, I've just got some quarter inch plate. They make kits for this, but um, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's like five and a half inch and then like some two and a half or three inch and then just weld that all together. Um, and I'll, I'll give you guys the exact measurements on that in the video where I'm putting this together. So I'll just weld all that up together. I've got new hub assemblies to go on both ends. I'm gonna pull the axle shafts out and take a look at the boots and feel the CVs. Um, they're actually not that expensive. It's like a hundred bucks and get a new set of um, aftermarket OE um, shafts. So we'll do that. And um, this uh, track bar mount is a little banged up from being at the wrecker. I'm gonna have to kind of bend that back into place and maybe, yeah, basically just bend it back into place. It should be good to go. Other than that, um, I also have, for the front, that I'm really excited about, this G2 cast aluminum axle uh, or diff cover with a fill and a drain. Um, I've also got, I'm gonna, I've never used one of these, but I've heard nothing but great things about them. The lube locker seals, these are reusable uh, seals, gaskets. Uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. And something you also need to do if you're gonna be running these um, track lock um, diffs, the limited slip. It's uh, like the Fords where you have to put an additive in it with the gear oil. I'm trying to get this to focus, guys, sorry. Let's see, I think the, the fluorescent lighting is not playing well with the reflection. But anyway, this is a limited slip additive um, from Mopar. I got this from Amazon, actually. So um, a lot of 90 weights will have that uh, additive in it. But whether it's for this, for the Jeep, or for the Fords, I've always, everything that I've read online is you should go ahead and add the additive anyway. It's cheap, and I always have, and I've never had any problems. Um, I did finally get a new front drive shaft put in this thing. Um, you may remember that uh, the little weekend camping back road trip that me and the wife did um, last year totally toasted the Recepa front drive shaft in this, so I found a double cardian u-joint style um, shaft at a wrecker um, from a v8 version bolted that right in those are good i've seen guys running those up to like six inches of lift which i, I don't think you'd probably want to do that but again with my three and a half be perfectly fine and my rear one i checked the slip yoke and we'll look at that when i 
put the axles in and the springs. I still have plenty of room on that shaft. I shouldn't have to do a slip yoke eliminator on that. Other than that, I think we're pretty much up to date. You know, we got spring shocks, axles, drive shaft, control arms. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see how this, or to feel how this thing's gonna drive once it's got those front uh, control arms in there and all set up um, so that the caster is better. But, um, so, you guys noticing the, the stocking cap? I love this. This is, uh, this is what my, my youngest picked out on her own for me for Christmas. It's like three stocking caps in thickness and I'm in my garage right now. My fingers are actually numb. I should have gloves on. Um, but my head is toasty warm, so, and it matches, green, green, green. Again, leave comments, questions in the comment section below. Email me, hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And I think that's it. I got some new merch on Teespring. You guys should go check that stuff out. It's pretty neat. If I do say so myself, it's priced as low as they'll let me price stuff. Because, again, I'm not doing this to make a fortune. I just like doing it. And uh, I think we'll wrap the video up there. As always, thanks for checking us out. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Hit that like button. And we'll see you later.